Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in my eyes, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Apostle Paul, he wrote a letter to Timothy, who was called to ministry by God. And he wrote him many letters of encouragement so that he could become strong to endure the calling that was on his life. As I was praying for the Holy Spirit to guide me, to, pre to show me what scripture that I should present this evening, this scripture came to me, 2 Timothy 2, 15. And the King James Version says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The NIV version says, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Mm -hmm. And this scripture brought me to my title, I am here because. When I started to study this verse, it made me realize how serious it is for one to be called into the ministry by God. I am not an apostle, a prophet, a teacher, an evangelist, or a pastor. Nor a ministry. Today, I am a student of the Bible. Amen. I am here because I want to maintain a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. I need to know the truth for myself by studying and examining the power of the Holy Spirit. I am here to learn everything I can to be the best version of me. For me to grow in the things of God, I must be diligent in service and in studying the Bible. This is a roadmap to living out our lives here on this earth. Paul wanted Timothy to proclaim the truth out in the public and to live out the same truth in his personal life. I believe that is what God wants for me and for you, to live a life that is pleasing to him and not pleasing to man. So I ask this question, how do I study to show thyself or prove unto God? I came up with, I need to show up every day. I must search for the truth, verify it, guard the truth by the authority of the scriptures, and live it out faithfully in my daily life in obedience to God. I must show respect, live in love and harmony with each other, letting my light shine for the world to see. I will not be caught unprepared and become confused by false and corrupt teachings and philosophies. God's approval is not earned, but received not by the basis of merit, but based on mercy. Paul, he wanted Timothy to be diligent in his service so that God could approve. The same thing God wants for us as a believer. This is not the time to be lazy. We must apply ourselves in service to God to please him. Just like we work hard to please our clients and our supervisors on the job. Romans 12, 2 says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The only way for us to renew our mind is by spending time with the Lord. Every day we should pray for revelation, read the Bible, and meditate on the word of God. Write your thoughts and ideas down so you don't forget and learn from other believers. Yes, we become busy. And sometimes we are so tired at the end of the day. And then some other situations deter us from spending time in the word. In the word. But always remember, who woke you up this morning to do all these busy things? 
He didn't have to, but his grace and mercy did. To rightly divide the word of truth, Paul instructed Timothy to cut it straight and witness by example. He told him to be wise when sharing the gospel by being able to prove that Jesus Christ was indeed the son of God, the promised Messiah. To handle the world of truth, we must become bold enough to express our faith without apology and be strong in the truth, which is Jesus Christ. Mark 8.38 says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in glory of his Father with the holy angels. Timothy would not need to be ashamed as he stood before God in the day of judgment. And this is what we should be striving towards as well. Our faith is being attacked every day. The battles that we are facing today will determine the measure of our faith. Will your faith be strong when that time comes or will it be weak? Jesus told Peter, Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And that's Luke 22, 31, 32. Paul said, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Ephesians 6, 16. Once your heart is pure, soaked in scripture and strong in faith, the arrows of the devil cannot penetrate. And when we spend time in God's word, we will be able to test and prove his good, pleasing and perfect will for our lives. I heard about the Bereans, so I went out to search and see. And how I saw how humble and faithful, eager and determined they were to learn. They did not have any Bibles. The apostles taught them that Jesus is the Christ, the son of God. They verified the truth through scriptures from the Old Testament text in the synagogue, and they believed. So we need to stop making excuses as to why we don't have time to study. Mm -hmm. I am learning every day when and how to pray, not forgetting to ask for wisdom first. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 2, 6, and the time you spend with God and the scriptures will strengthen your faith to win every battle in life. Remember, when we receive the truth, we must verify by searching for ourselves. Don't take the views and opinions of man and then guard the truth by the authority of the scriptures. And when we study we will always feel the presence of his gracious hand guiding us and helping us to follow him because we are saved and sanctified by grace. Finally, I do not know why you are here, but I am here because I need help from God to guide me through these tough times. The word of the Lord said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you, Psalm 32, 8. Therefore, like Timothy, I will continue to show myself approved, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly divided the word of truth, and I urge you to do the same. Let us pray. Father, thank you for guiding us through this class. I don't know what the future holds for any of us, but I do know who holds the future. Give us strength, Lord, knowledge and the wisdom to discern false doctrines and unapologetically defend it with the truth of God by the authority of the scriptures. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 That was nice. Amen. Wisdom coming forth. I love it. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise that, was, God. that was good. That was really, really good. Introduction, I love it how you use yourself to introduce the message. It was really good. 
um, a type of salmon, you stayed in the lane. And that again, topical salmon, you can go from place to place to prove your point. So it was good. It was good. Uh, the discussion was good. Um, the conclusion was good, but brief. You just touch it one point, then you're gone. You didn't even give them a chance to think. So that's the only thing. The time everybody's been keeping to time, thank God for the phone, for cell phone. So you can set your time, timer. Hey, <laughs> don't let me go beyond. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that was good. That was good. That was good. The only area where it's not up to, yeah, is the conclusion. Yeah, you, con you concluded it. You brought the conclusion. Mm -hmm. But then give them a chance to react. I mean, yeah. when, you, when you call people to action, give them a chance to act. So as, mm -hmm. you, as you did the call to action, but you didn't give enough room to, yeah. But that was good. Okay. That was really, that was kudos. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. So I don't have to ask people to comment. People already uh commented so we thank god for everyone tonight we all did very 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 well even beyond my expectation we did very 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 well god bless you all so i uh, can't wait to see you on the pulpit or on the street or wherever the spirit of god may lead you wherever the spirit of god may lead